Good evening, I'm Farouz Thompson, your recently elected Lib Dem Cambridgeshire County Councillor and North Stowe Town Councillor. My division is Longstanton, North Stowe, Over, Oakington and Westwick. I'm going to keep this introduction brief as we have a packed agenda this evening. A couple of highlights from the county work. Our top priority is the environment, sustainability and the climate emergency. As a joint administration, we have committed to putting climate change and biodiversity at the heart of the Council's work and the heart of its land management strategy. We have also committed to reviewing the Council's sustainability strategy with the aim of moving forward the net zero target to 2030. You may know we have recently been awarded the Surface Against Sewage Plastic Free Community with Longstanton. My role has been to ensure all food trucks that attend site do not have single use plastic. Five food trucks were awarded a champion last year. I'm pleased to say that North Stowe Secondary School is also a plastic free school. Another highlight for, for families eligible for free school meals supermarket vouchers will be available over the summer holidays as well as the free activities for four weeks. Some of you may know that I started the fundraiser with the local district councillors last year in October to fund February half term vouchers. During that time I found that we have over 240 families that are el eligible to free school meals in seven local councils and these numbers only set to rise. One of my priorities for North Stowe is to plan a campaign for reclaiming our cycle paths. I know this has been an ongoing issue within the community for some time, as roads and cycle paths will not be adopted by the County Council until 2026. We need to ensure that between phase one and phase two, we have all paths connected. More on this later from our County Officers Tam Parry and Nigel Egger. I will be looking at safe cycling routes for the community and the, and the pupils cycling to and from school. Over the last month, I have met with North Stowe Secondary College, Urban Splash and Think Communities to bring partners together. Think, Communi Think Communities is a part of the County Council team. Scott Liddell is our community connector at North Stowe, involved currently with the art pavilions between the two schools in phase two. It is worth mentioning that the community cafe and the food bank have both recently started on a Wednesday at the community wing, thanks to Beth and Mari. A problem area for the council is also road maintenance, especially potholes, block road gullies, I'm sure you are painfully aware of the short term nature of much of the work. There is backlog and as a new administration, we're not able to rectify problems overnight, but the new team is going to look critically at contracts, quality of our work and drive improvements as soon as they can. You'd be pleased to know that the major flooding on B1050 just by the roundabout has been resolved and the new drains worked perfectly in our downpour last week. Another issue that I am currently dealing with is the trench along the B1050, where A14 junction from Bar Hill meets the pre-existing road. Unfortunately, there's no easy solution, but the team are working on something. Please contact me if you want to raise any concerns or want to get involved in any of the projects that I highlighted. I'm regularly posting on local Facebook pages, so do message me. I will also share my contact details with you in the chat. Thank you. Right. Hi, everybody. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm uh, Richard Owen. I'm, um, I'm Mayor of North Stowe, and I moved to North Stowe from Cambridge about four years ago into, I think it was about the 10th house uh, in North Stowe, and we're, as we're now approaching a 1,000 houses. Um, I joined Longstanton Parish Council about three years ago uh, as the first North Stowe resident on the council and uh, four of us um, who were North Stowe residents on Longstanton Parish Council moved across to North Stowe Town Council and were elected amongst the, amongst the 15 elected um, councillors in May. 
and I was very much honoured to be elected as uh, the chairman of council and town mayor. You can see on the right hand side here, we've got the pictures from the council website of uh, myself and uh, Paul Littlemore, who's deputy town mayor. So you can recognise us in the street and stop us about things if, if you want to. And a uh, screen cap off from the website itself. So first, a... Oh. little bit of recent history. So as uh, Sarah was just saying, uh, North Town Council was created, uh, it officially came into being in April 2021 following the community governance review and represents the areas you can see there uh, on the official ordnance survey map um so uh it's the area which used to be encompassed within uh long stanton parish council and uh part of oakington parish council and we represent north Stowe and rampton drift as the first tier of local government it's tier of local government closest to the people so at the elections in may we had 20 exceptional candidates who came forward and uh stood for election and we had 15 uh, seats on the council so 15 independent councillors were elected there and we are truly representative of the community across pretty much every demographic uh, so uh, across age gender diversity uh, location as well across all of the north state developments and rampton drift and we've just employed our town clerk as our first full-time employee uh, mark knockett who is going to be starting uh, next month and uh, just here, I'd like to say thank you so much to Rosie Hughes, who has been our interim clerk um, since January and has really done so much work to get North Town Council off the ground. So moving on, so um, what do we do? Uh, what are our responsibilities? Well, town councils and parish councils have an extremely wide remit. We look after quite a lot of different things, but our first responsibility, our key responsibility is to represent you and to represent your interests. Um, but beyond that, we've got, there are several areas which will form the, which will take up the brunt of the, the work that we have as a council. So we are a key consultee on planning applications. This is becoming increasingly important as plans for the town centre and for local, local commercial areas. So for the phase one local areas are uh, coming up and there is a workshop which is coming up um, next Monday, which I encourage as many people as uh, possible to get involved with run by AR Urbanism who are coming up in the next slot on the agenda. Um, we have a very active uh, or what will be a very active events and markets committee, which is going to be setting up local events, markets and supporting uh, community groups. As the town grows and as community facilities become uh, active and get built, such as the sports pavilion, the local community centre and the civic hub, we will have the option to take over and manage these facilities. And those, those are going to be extremely important decisions for the town council to take. And leading from uh, one of the points that the key points that Farouz was, uh, was saying, we really want to be leading sustainability initiatives as well. Uh, because although it's a new town, we want to protect and enhance the open space that we have to really protect that green space, to enhance biodiversity, to reduce plastic use and to make North Star a really green place to live. And to all of those ends, we'll be working both on the things which are in, in our remit, as well as with other councils and organisations to represent your views. So with South Cams, with the Cambridgeshire County Council, LNQ, Homes England, as building continues, and with other groups such as police, transport, etc. And to that end, we're also, we're working with a lot of external groups which cover um, a wide range of life in North Stowe and the surrounding area. So North Stowe Town Council has um, seats on the phase one open spaces steering group, which is where we are um, helping to manage with South Cams, LNQ and Greenbelt, the um, management of open spaces and ensure that that is taken care of in a good way. We're also supporting the, um, some of the more, most vulnerable people in our, in our community through the North Stowe Support Partnership. Uh, which includes uh, membership from county councils, South Cams, and a wide range of other groups. Um, of course, North Stowe has a very young demographic, so uh, we also um, need to ensure that there are there are sufficient facilities for young people to get involved uh, in and for, to, to provide things for young people to do, as well as to take care of um, 
other aspects of life in North Stowe. So the, the Arts Pavilion project that Farouz was mentioning to ensure that we have a strong cultural and artistic life and the Heritage Building Steering Group, which is run uh, uh, from um, the Longhampton District Heritage Society uh, to ensure that we don't forget the history of the, the history of the place. That although we're a new town, this area has a phenomenal amount of history that we need to nurture and uh, and remember and maintain. Oh, sorry, John, could you go back a slide, please? <laughs> right. Um, so, how do you get in touch with us? Uh, so, our full council meetings are on the fourth Wednesday of every month. So that the next one coming up is going to be on the twenty eighth of July at the community wing at the Pathfinder School. And every meeting has a, uh, a standing item for public participation and for public questions. So please do come along, take part, raise any questions that you have. And all the details are on the, the website there, northstowntowncouncil.gov.uk. And please do get in touch with the, uh, the town clerk, um, so at town clerk at Northstow Town Council or myself um, to raise any issues or to make sure that anything which needs to be raised goes to the, goes to the appropriate place. So, uh, and yeah, I hope to be meeting a lot more of you over the course of the next year. <laughs>